Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth and final tutorial in the five day AutoCAD Secrets course uh, by AutoCAD Elite. In this tutorial I'm going to show you all about printing and plotting including um, printing to a file which means you can email it to a colleague or um, a boss that doesn't have AutoCAD and they can open it and view your drawing. Okay so we've got our drawing that we've done in the previous tutorials up here and what we need to do is we need to go into something we haven't talked about as yet which is the layout tabs down here so to do that we just click on the layout tab and as you'll see it's like a page of paper it's like you're viewing your drawing uh, there's a couple of things we want to do to tidy up here um, I want to double click inside here and now I'm actually working inside, it's like I'm looking through a window and I'm working on my drawing, see I can select things, inside this window. Now what I want to do is I actually want to turn the grid off, so I'll go down here and turn grid off and that looks much better. And then I want to come back outside, so I'll double click outside and I want to change the size of this to make it the full page. So we just click the blue grips and move them out and that has changed the size there. Okay and what we can also do is we can double click inside and we can uh, zoom and then if we want to choose a window and we can actually zoom in on bits of detail like so. So if we just want to print that we can do that or if we want to Z and then P for previous and then you know we can select different things that we want to view on different sheets of paper but for this we'll just leave them all on there and we'll double click outside here and we will go up to the print now in AutoCAD it's actually called plotting uh, because it's like you're plotting a drawing um, but you can call it printing but um, up here in the menu it's actually called plot so we go to that and I don't actually have my printer set up at the moment but what I do is I'd usually send it to my Lexmark printer but what we'll do today I also have a program on my computer called PDF Creator which is, is basically a printer but it just prints to PDF um, it's also a very good way to go and there should be one on here called DWD, D, DWG for drawing to PDF which also converts it to PDF for your um, for anyone that wants to read it so we'll just select this one like that and as it says PDF plot by Autodesk so it's an Autodesk so you you all should have it um, I'd say so depending on what version of AutoCAD you've got and what we'll do is we will print this And one thing, like you can, one thing you can do is you can change all your scales. Um, so if you want to make it, and you can change your page size. Uh, but what I'd recommend is, if you want to change your page size, is we actually go down to Layout, and we right-click, and we go to Page Setup Manager, and then we actually modify that layout, and we change our page size straight in there which we'll go to A3 okay and now look how see how that has made the actual preview bigger so now we extend this out to reach the A3 and now we double click inside there and we can zoom actually I'll zoom a window like so and I'll just select my objects and there we go click outside so now that's in an A3 sheet so that will automatically default when we go to plot it to the A3 paper size so that's an easy way to do it and then what we'll do is we'll hit print oh, I haven't selected the plot, plot device this time DWG to PDF and then what you'll do from there is you'll just hit OK and it will print that to PDF, it will bring up a save screen and you save the document where you'd like to print it or obviously if you have an A3 printer or you have an A4 printer and you want to print to that 
um, you can also just print to a normal printer. So that's about it for plotting. Um, I've given you some, some ideas of how to modify your page space or layout space and also how to actually plot the drawing. I hope you enjoyed this series of uh, five videos of the AutoCAD Secrets course. Um, there may or may not be a couple more on the way, uh, a couple of special bonus ones. And as always, if you enjoyed these ones and you want to learn more about AutoCAD and learn how to use it uh, to the best of your ability, then head over to AutoCADElite.com. Okay, until the next one, bye-bye.